हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लेक्चर थर्टीन आफ कैमिकल इक्वलिब्रियम एसिड्स एंड बेसिस द टॉपिक इज सॉल्युबिलिटी इक्वलिब्रिया ऑफ स्पेरिंगली सॉल्युबल सॉल्ट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ द सॉल्ट्स द सॉल्ट्स क्लासिफाइड इनटू फाइव कैटेगरीज सो दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ द सॉल्ट्स नंबर वन हाईली सॉल्युबल सॉल्ट्स द सॉल्युबिलिटी इज मच मोर देन द वन मोल्स पर लीटर दीज आर आल्सो कॉल्ड हाइग्रोस्कोपिक सॉल्ट्स हाइग्रोस्कोपिक मीन्स अब्सर्व द वाटर वेपर फ्रॉम द अटमॉस्फियर एंड सेकंड वन सॉल्युबल सॉल्ट्स द सॉल्युबिलिटी इज मोर देन जीरो पॉइंट वन मोल्स पर लीटर and third one slightly soluble salts so the solubility is between 0.01 moles per liter and 0.1 moles per liter and the fourth one sparingly soluble salts so the solubility is less than 0.01 moles per liter and the last one insoluble salts the solubility is much less than the 0.01 moles per liter so here the second one third one and fourth one so these three categories are important and the solubility depends on the number of factors and the important factors are two number one that is enthalpy lattice enthalpy and number 2 solvation enthalpy or hydration enthalpy solvation or hydration enthalpy and here what is that lattice enthalpy the energy required the energy required to dissociate one mole of ion to its constituent ions is called lattice enthalpy the energy required to dissociate one mole of ionic compound into its constituent ions is called lattice and it measures the strength of ionic bond and it shown by positive the lattice enthalpy is shown by positive because the lattice enthalpy is required energy and what is that solvation enthalpy or hydration enthalpy the amount of energy when one mole of ions hydration called hydration or solvation energy and it is shown by negative the solvation enthalpy is shown by negative because in solvation enthalpy the energy is released let me take one example i am taking nacl salt so there is a attractive interactive forces between the positive charge of the na plus ion and negative charge of the cl minus ion and this force hold them together so between the opposite charges ions there is a attractive interactive forces so these are the attractive interactive forces between the cation and anion and this force hold the ions together hold and here 
the force required to break the attractive forces and separate the ions called lattice enthalpy so here between the na plus and cl minus ions there is a attractive interactive forces so here to break that force to break that attractive interactive forces some energy is required that energy is called lattice enthalpy and that lattice enthalpy separate the ions so here the ions going to be separate separate them lattice enthalpy to separate the ions so here i am taking a one beaker in that beaker i am taking water when the nacl salt dissolve in water polar solvent then the na plus and cl minus ions are hydrated means na plus ions are surrounded by water molecules due to attractive force between na plus positive charge and oxygen negative charge in the water and cl minus ions are surrounded by h2o molecules due to attractive between the cl minus negative charge and hydrogen positive charge in the water so here when i add nacl salt in a water then that na plus ions surrounded by water molecules due to the attractive force between the positive charge of the na plus and negative charge of the oxygen of water so they have attractive force and here also water molecule attractive force between positive charge of na plus and negative charge of oxygen and here also same and here also attractive force and here also attractive force so that na plus ions are surrounded by water molecules in the same way the cl minus ions also surrounded by water molecules due to attractive force of negative charge of the cl minus ion and hydrogen positive charge on water so here partial positive charge on hydrogen so there is a attractive force between the opposite charges so this is called hydration and here the energy will released so that energy is called salvation enthalpy and here the salvation enthalpy overcome the lattice enthalpy consequently nacl salt dissolve in water solvent so the salvation enthalpy of nacl is more than the lattice enthalpy then the nacl salt is dissolved in water so the salts are dissolved in solvent when the salts having more hydration enthalpy or salvation enthalpy than the lattice enthalpy in case of non polar solvents non polar solvents the salvation enthalpy is small hence not overcome the lattice enthalpy consequently nacl salt not to dissolve in non polar solvents because the non polar solvents do not have charges or do not have poles positive pole and negative pole so the salts are soluble when 
सॉल्वेशन एंथॉलपी इज मोर देन द लैटिस एंथॉलपी द सॉल्स आर सॉल्युबल एंड when the solvation enthalpy is less than lattice enthalpy the salts are not soluble and the solubility of a salt also depends on the temperature if the temperature increases the solubility also increases next one solubility product constant ksp so here barium sulfate salt equilibrium barium plus 2 aqueous plus so4 minus 2 aqueous so saturated solution in water of barium sulfate so here the equilibrium constant for above reaction is equilibrium constant k is equal to products concentration divided by reactants concentration so ba plus 2 concentration and so4 minus 2 concentration divided by reactants concentration ba so4 concentration so for pure solid substances the concentration remains constant then we can write that solubility product constant ksp is equal to so this baso4 comes to here so k into the concentration of baso4 is equal to products concentration ba plus 2 concentration and so4 minus 2 concentration and let it be equation number 1 so here the ksp is a solubility product so this reaction at 298 kelvin and that ksp value is 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 10 the ksp value is 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 10 so the product of concentrations of barium and sulfate ions is equal to its solubility product ksp the concentrations of two ions will be equal to molar solubility of barium sulfate and if molar solubility is yes so s yes is the molar solubility if molar solubility is yes then we can write that from equation 1 so ksp means 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 10 is equal to molar solubility of barium plus 2 and so4 minus 2 ba plus 2 molar solubility yes and s44 minus 2 molar solubility also s then is equal to s square so 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 10 is equal to s square then we can write that s is equal to under root 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 10 so its value is 1.05 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so s is equal to 
1.05 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So molar solubility of barium sulfate is 1.05 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles per liter. Then let me take for ions carrying different charges. So here I am taking zirconium phosphate. So zirconium phosphate, zirconium plus 4 plus 4 moles of PO4 minus 2. So here molar solubility of zirconium plus 4 is 3. So 3s and molar solubility of PO4 minus 2 is 4. So here 4s. So solubility product of zirconium phosphate KSP is equal to molar solubility zirconium plus 4 3s and power 3 into PO4 minus 2 molar solubility. So here 4s and power 4 then we can write 3 power 3 into 4 power 4 into s to the power of 3 and s to the power of 4 so s to the power of 3 plus 4 so is equal to 3 power 3 into 4 power 4 the value is 6912 s power 7 3 plus 4 7 s power 7 so ksp is equal to 6912 s power 7 so for that zirconium phosphate solubility product ksp is equal to 6, 9, 1, 2, s to the power of 7. Now, let me take a generalized hypothetical equation. M, X and X, Y. Equilibrium. M, X moles of M power P plus and plus aqueous plus y moles x to the power q minus and aqueous the solid salt mx xy equilibrium it gives the cation and anion the cation m the charge is P plus and number of moles X aqueous plus anion X the charge is Q minus and moles Y moles aqueous so the solubility product of this salt KSP is equal to molar solubility of cation so here in this we are taking 3s so here we have to take x s x s so here we are taking to the power of 3 so here also we have to take to the power of x into molar solubility of anion so in previous one we are taken 4 s so here number of moles 4 so 4 s so here moles is y so y s to the power of y so here to the power of 4 in the same way we are taken here y s to the power of y is equal to x to the power of x x to the power of x into y to the power of y y to the power of y into s to the power of x and s to the power of y means s to the power of x plus y in previous one 
we are taking 3 plus 4 yes to the power of 3 plus 4 so here we are taking x plus y x plus y then we can write that yes to the power of x plus y is equal to, so this value comes to this side to denominator so ksp divided by x to the power of x into y to the power of y and we need s so s is equal to ksp divided by x to the power of x into y to the power of y and all to the power of 1 by x plus y so it is a general formula for all equation s yes is equal to s yes is equal to ksp divided by x to the power of x into y to the power of y and all to the power of 1 by x plus y next one common ion effect on solubility of salts let us take saturated NaCl saturated NaCl solution and if I add HCl to that solution what happening let us observe that NaCl solid equilibrium it dissociate into Na plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. If I add HCl to that solution and that HCl also dissociate into H plus ions and plus Cl minus ions means indirectly we are increasing the concentration of cl minus ions then the equilibrium will disturb due to the common ion effect so here that common ion is cl minus so the cl minus ion concentration increases so due to that common ion effect the equilibrium will disturb and this common ions combine with opposite charged ions to get precipitate till KSP become equal to QSP. So QSP is a solubility product at new equilibrium state. And from this process we can remove the impurities. So that NaCl contain the impurities of sodium sulphate and magnesium sulphate. So that sodium sulphate and magnesium sulphate ions are remains in the solution. And that N pure NaCl crystallized out. So the common ion of Cl minus ions are combined with the Na plus ions to give the pure NaCl crystals and the common ion effect is also used for almost complete precipitation of a particular ion as it's sparingly soluble salt with low solubility product for gravimetric estimation so in gravimetric estimations the silver Ag plus can precipitate as AgCl and Fe plus 3 precipitate as FeOH taken 3 times ferric hydroxide or ferric oxide Fe2O3 and that barium plus 2 is precipitated as barium sulfate and the solubilities of weak salts weak salts like phosphates 
increases at lower pH means more acidic lower pH means more acidic and low H plus ion concentration we know that the pH is equal to minus log of H plus ions so the solubility of weak salts like phosphates increases at lower pH because at lower pH concentration of anion decreases due to the protonation protonation means we are adding the HCl means the H plus ions adding nothing but protonation so the solubility of weak salts increases at lower pH because at lower pH the concentration of anion decreases due to the protonation the salt solubility product KSP is equal to the cation concentration and anion concentration by protonation means we are adding acid HX aqueous equilibrium H plus aqueous plus X minus aqueous and here acid equilibrium constant Ka A stand for acid equilibrium constant K is equal to products concentration H plus concentration X minus concentration divided by reactants concentration HX concentration and here that X minus concentration divided by HX concentration is equal to Ka divided by H plus concentration so X minus concentration anion divided by the concentration of HX is equal to Ka divided by H plus concentration and taking the inverse of both sides and add 1 inverse and add 1 inverse of this one HX concentration divided by X minus concentration plus 1 is equal to inverse of this one H plus concentration divided by Ka and plus 1 if you do that LCM we can get H X minus concentration and here XX cancel H X concentration plus X minus 1 concentration is equal to and here Ka and Ka Ka cancel H plus concentration plus and 1 into Ka so Ka and again take inversion again inverse inversion of this one x minus concentration divided by hx concentration plus x minus concentration is equal to and inversion of this one Ka by H plus concentration plus Ka and here X minus concentration divided by HX concentration plus X minus concentration is equal to F and is equal to Ka by H plus concentration plus Ka so here F is the factor 
so that f factor decreases as ph decreases so if s is the solubility of salt at given ph so that ksp is equal to molar solubility of cation and molar solubility of anion so here ksp is equal to cation concentration and anion concentration molar solubility of cation is s so here s and molar solubility of anion anion concentration molar solubility of anion so here and for that uh, anion the factor is f and f molar solubility s then ksp is equal to s square into the factor f so f is equal to ka divided by h plus concentration plus ka then the molar solubility s s is equal to equal to ksp and this value comes to here into ka plus h plus concentration and divided by and ka come to denominator so ka and all to the power of 1 by 2 because there is a s square so s is equal to ksp into ka plus h plus concentration divided by ka and all the value to the power of 1 by 2 so the solubility s increases with increase in h plus concentration or decrease in ph because h plus concentration is opposite to ph let me take that ph is equal to minus log h plus concentration so that for example the h plus concentration is 10 to the power of minus 5 and let me take another one ph is equal to minus log and h plus concentration is 10 to the power of minus 3 so here ph is equal to minus 3 to minus plus so here 5 plus 5 the ph value is plus 5 and here the ph value is minus into minus plus so 3 this value is small and this value is big 10 to the power of minus 1 is a small value and 10 to the power of minus 3 is the big value so if h plus concentration is less then the ph is more if h plus concentration is more then the ph is less so here the solubility s increases with the h plus concentration or decreases in the ph so this is about common ion effect on solubility of salts let us solve one problem problem number 7.26 in our textbook calculate the solubility of a2x3 in pure water assuming that neither kind of ion reacts with water the solubility product of a2x3 ksp is equal to 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 23 so here the salt a2x3 dissociate into 2a plus 3 plus 3x2 minus so this 3 comes to here means the charge of cation is plus 3 and 2 comes to here and the charge of anion is 2 minus so solubility product ksp is equal to a plus 3 and here 2 moles power 2 and x2 minus power 3 is equal to the ksp is 1.1 1 
into 10 to the power of minus 23. So the molar solubility is represented by S. So here the cationic molar solubility 2S and anion molar solubility 3S. So we can write that Ksp is equal to cation molar solubility 2S and power 2 anion molar solubility is 3s power 3 is equal to 2 square into 3 to the power of 3 into s to the power of 2 s to the power of 3 means s to the power of 2 plus 3 is equal to if you do this calculation we will get the value is 108 and s to the power of 2 plus 3 means 5 s to the power of 5 so ksp is equal to 108 s to the power of 5 we need s so here s to the power of 5 is equal to the ksp value is 1.1 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 23 divided by and this value comes to here 108 then s to the power of 5 is equal to if you write this 110 into 10 to the power of it become 10 to the power of minus 25 divided by 108 so approximately equal to 110 so 110 and 108 get cancelled is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 25. So then S5 is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 25. Then S is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 25 all to the power of 1 by 5. Then we are getting 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so s is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles per liter so the solubility of a2x3 is s is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles per liter next problem number 7.27 the values of KSP of two sparingly soluble salts NiOH taken two times and AgCN are 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 15 and 6 into 10 to the power of minus 17 respectively. Which salt is more soluble? Let us solve that problem. Two salts are given. The first salt NiOH taken two times. The salt dissociate into Ni plus 2 plus OH minus. And here 2 moles of OH minus. And next I am taking the salt AgCN. It dissociate into Ag plus plus Cn minus and molar solubility of nickel plus 2 is yes 1 yes and molar solubility of OH minus is 2 yes 2 moles molar solubility is labeled as 2 so here I am taking 2 and here also I am taking 2 and molar solubility of Ag plus S1S one, yes, 1 mole so S and molar solubility of Cn minus 1 mole so here also S and that molar solubility is labeled as 1 so here S1 and here also I am taking S1 and the solubility product of nickel hydroxide Ksp is equal to the concentration of nickel plus 2 
nickel plus 2 and the concentration of OH minus OH minus and power 2 the KSP value is given for this salt is 6 into 10 to the power of minus 17 is equal to molar solubility of nickel plus 2 S2 and molar solubility of OH minus 2S2 all to the power of 2 so here 6 into 10 to the power of minus 17 is equal to S2 into 2 power 2 means 4 and S power 2 so S2 power 2 S2 power 2 into 2 power 2 means 4 2 into 2 4 is equal to S2 power 1 plus 2 3 into 4 so we need S2 so S2 is equal to this value 6 into 10 to the power of minus 17 divided by 4 and all to the power of 1 by 3 so if you do this calculation we will get S2 is equal to 0 0.58 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and come to this side so here KSP is equal to AG plus concentration and CN minus concentration so KSP value given so that KSP value is 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 15 so 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 15 is equal to the molar solubility of AG plus S1 and molar solubility of CN minus S1 so 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 15 is equal to S1 square then we need S1 S1 is equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 15 all to the power of 1 by 2 then if you do this calculation S1 is equal to 7.2 Point eight into 10 to the power of minus 9 so here the s2 value is more than the s1 value so that nickel hydroxide is more soluble than the AgCN so NiOH taken two times is more soluble than AgCN because NiOH taken two times the molar solubility value is more than the AgCN.